be available again this summer in Greater Lafayette. News 18's Amber Hardwick tells us why the migrant education is a success and how it helps students keep up with school. Last year, the Wabash Valley Education Center offered the Migra Education Program for the first time. Executive Director Dennis Cahill says it was nothing short of successful. He says more than 70 students participated. We started at 8 in the morning and ran until 4 in the afternoon, and uh, all of the evaluations we received from students and parents or that it was uh, they really enjoyed the program. Cahill says in Indiana there are many migrant workers from Florida, Georgia, and Texas. The main goal is to help their kids not fall behind in school. So major focus is is to provide the academic skills that these uh, children need to be successful during the regular school year. The program is funded by a federal grant, making it free for migrant families. Cahill says the summer program is for students K through 8, but the Wabash Valley Education Center is also helping out high school students. In terms of helping them get a GED or maybe a high school student uh, getting a credit that they lost during their regular high school years. During the morning, students will work on core curriculum classes, which will be geared toward STEM education. Then they will end their day with extracurricular activities. Uh, they also receive breakfast, lunch, and a snack, which there's no cost to them. And it gives the students a place to stay while parents are working. Cahill says the migrant education program will start on June 24th and last through July at Sunnyside Intermediate School. Amber Hardwick, News 18.